Hey, this is Chuck from Monococ Metalworks. Today we're going to talk about the panels and pieces we can provide to help you restore your original bonnet. Now, there's a lot to talk about here, so we're going to break this one up into three parts. But you're definitely going to want to watch all three parts because there's nothing better than keeping your original bonnet that should always be option one. You might be looking at some rusted and mangled mess right now thinking that's just not an option for me. But after you see what we can do for you, I think you're going to have a different opinion and it's going to be something that you can tackle with our help. So part one is going to look at the bonnet flanges that are glued in. We can provide everything for all the six cylinder and V12 E types, any E type out there. And we're also going to talk about custom pieces, custom flanges that are a little bit wider to help you get out of trouble. Or if you need them, these special flanges for the early welded louver bonnets, which do have the flanges spot welded on like this. Part two, we're going to talk about the standard replacement panels. You've got your headlight diaphragms, mouth tray, uh, mud shields. We make everything for the inside of all bonnets. You know, you got the support member here. There's some little horn brackets. And then part three, we're going to talk about custom repair panels that we can make for you based on your specific problems. You send in some photos, we talk about it on the phone, and then we make some repair pieces. Here's some stuff for the, the bottom of wings. And then look at this, we've got some special pieces for uh, the lower valance, corner of the uh, center section. There's a lot to go over, I told you. So, definitely want to watch all three parts. Let's get into it. Okay, part three, custom bonnet repair panels. So, I can kind of hear what you're thinking. We've already gone through all the flanges in part one, all the internal new panels in part two, but you're thinking, Chuck, that's all great, except my bonnet, the main parts, the wings and the lower balance and the center section are trashed. Well, we can help with that too. For example, you might have a wing that looks like this. This is very, very common on the E-type. What happens is you got your, your wheel is in here, it's throwing stuff up, you get moisture, and especially on the, this is the right hand, but on the left hand, battery acid and everything, water comes down in here, gets caught in this rolled edge, and then you have this problem, okay? Well, we can help, all right? We make repair panels for that especially. Here is a repair panel. It is two inches high. It has the, the proper size wire, or it's more like rod when it's this big, okay? You can see it's beautifully rolled in there. Brent does a great job on these, all right? And on this one, we have put a stepped edge on the top. Now you'll say, well, that's not the way it looks originally. I want to butt weld it. You better be real good if you're going to do that. It would need to be taped and then planished. You will warp the hell out of this. This metal is 36 thousandths thick. So you'd be a lot better off to just go ahead and plug weld this, put some tacks along. You've got an overlapped layer in here. And then you can use a little bit of filler on the inside to go ahead and smooth that out. We're talking about 36 thousandths of an inch of filler. But if you want to butt weld it like we would do here, TIG it and planish it and all of that, be my guest. You can go for it. We can make the piece any height you want, up to about 8 inches. I don't like to go about past here where it really starts to curve. And we can do it with or without the step. Um, so this one here is bigger. This one here, we just made these as examples. That one's probably not quite enough big to cover that. But what I have people do is take a good measurement. You want to keep this as low as possible. So if this is two and a half inches, let's give you two and three quarters and no more than that. All right. This is a much bigger piece. You can see the wire is sticking out because you might want to tuck the wire in there a little bit. There's a lot of different ways to go about this. There's no need to cut that off now. And we, of course, make it plenty long enough. It's always about an inch too long. So that's what we can do for that very common problem area. 
we recently made someone a four inch section that went all the way around here with the wired edge because someone had cut theirs all out and flared it in the past. They were able to fix that. Another big problem area is rust along this edge here. Um, this is the flange where the wing bolts to the center section and there are little spacer washers in here so those brass clips those brass clips come down and are you know spread over the edges like that to hold the chrome beading so you've got a sixteenth well, that's actually a little thicker than that of an inch of space in here and that's why you see all of this this is actually a really good one it can be completely rusted away and the rust will sometimes wrap around up onto the surface we make a complete set of what we call the full length flanges. We make them out of 18 gauge, so they're nice and thick. They are preformed to the exact correct shape. They've got the holes in them. You will see that if you put this on here, it is a dead match for the original. The holes are in the right place, the angle's right, everything's perfect. And then it has its mate for the center section. By the way, these are less than 90, these are more than 90, that's how they are. It's center section mate, goes right there, and now you've got a perfect pair. You can do the same thing here, you can cut this off right on this edge, and then double it up on the underside, and in fact, we sell a lot of these to big E-type restoration shops, and that's what they do. They put this on the underside and then it's doubled up and then they tack it. They have a, it's laid over like that. They tack along this edge and they tack on the inside along this edge and then they put a little filler in there. Um, there's a lot more filler in the big restoration shops than you think. So we have a full set. You can order one or you can order the full set of four. They're always a dead match. See, here is the one for here. They're, they're made extra long, so I can't really hold it up there perfectly. So that's why it's a little weird on the bottom. But that's the one for that. And you can see how that's that real tight angle. It fits in there. So that's what we can do there. You may find rust coming through like this one right here up in this top corner where it's throwing junk up into the top of that wheel well. We can make you a little curved piece for that if you need it. We can make and have made, and I'll just throw a Series 1 over here with it real quick so you can see the difference. There's a, there's a Series 1, there's a Series 2. We have made full sections all the way, and the line comes along like this, and it comes down here. It's got this flange, it's got this flange, it's got the beaded edge. We can make it for a Series 1, which is over here, or a Series 2. Um, we have made the fender from about here forward. After that, you really should start looking around for another fender. But basically, this is an early fender. It's, it's spot welded in here. But basically, from that line forward. We can, we can put in the, the cutout for the Series 1 turn signals, or if it's a Series 2, no. A lot of times, if you want to save cost, you can do the cutout, and we'll just send you kind of a blank that goes in there. Sorry, we didn't have time to make one of them. That's all made up custom. Another thing, these are our Series 1.5 and, and 2 headlamp conversion flange rings, actually, and Series 3. But they can be used as repair pieces for the stepped edge here on the wing. Because what will happen a lot of times is you get, you know, the, you've got your rubber seal and all that. Water gets up in there, comes down and sits in here, and this will all be rusted out along there. So, boom, there's your little repair piece right there. Okay? So that's what we can do. This whole section, this, we can do the whole front if you need. We've got the flange there. We can do a repair around here. When we've got our piece down there. That's how we're going to help you with the wings. Now, the next thing is the lower balance. You've heard me talk about the lower balance all the time. And I'm talking about how we restore the skin and then we replace the main support member. And this is the same lower balance that you saw in part two. Just had a customer this week said I want the support member but it's also rusted away. There's really nothing to attach it to. That wired edge is all screwed up from the wheel throwing junk in here and letting it sit there. 
These are the panels that we made for him. This is a four inch section that comes along. You'll see, these are for drainage, but they'll get clogged up with leaves and stuff, and then water will set in there. So we put a four inch section along here, and then these are beautiful repair panels that Brent made up this week. They're done in the English wheel, so it's a compound curve. We've got the wired edge right here, and again, it's a perfect fit. I've just got them seat uh, vice gripped on there for now. So now, yeah, it's a little crazy because he's only saving that front half of this, but again, he's got the perfect mouth shape. Everything's going to fit just right, and he can kind of build this into place as he's bolting everything together to line this stuff up. So we, we've done sections that come all the way up there. We've done, well, another thing that's very common is a repair piece for up in here or like a new flange that goes all the way along there. We can do that as well, all right? Next thing is in part two, you saw me talking about how with the inner valances, we put on a new wall and we spot weld it to a restored tube. Well, you may say, mine's really bad, my tube is bad, and what's very common, you can see the heavy pitting here, but it's not all the way through. So we sandblasted it. This all, you can barely see this because the bonnet skin is right along here. It never got painted, and so it rusts quickly. And a lot of times, this will all be rusted out. So if that's the problem, no worries. Again, you just send in photographs, and we send you what you need. There's a repair section for a rusted out tube on the left-hand side. Look at that. Fits beautifully. We always try to kind of give the guy some direction. So what he's going to do is he's going to cut this about a quarter inch above here, or maybe a half, depending on how he wants to do it. That's going to give him a little flange. He's going to overlap there, maybe put some plug welds in, and then put a stitch right along here, nice and slow, and then grind it down, and it'll look just like this. See, this piece was made like that, where we have a pattern for this, and then we bend it up into shape, and then we've got a weld along there. So that's a custom piece that we can do for that. <clears throat> now, the piece we get asked for a lot that we don't do is the mouth. People are asking all the time for a repair piece to go back like the first six inches. They want to do the mouth. It's a very difficult piece to make. I've done it, it takes a lot of time. So you'd be paying a lot of money for it. To be honest, we're so backed up, we don't have that kind of time. And then you're putting a lot of time and effort into welding it across and most people can't do that properly. So you are much better off trying to hammer and dolly this with some of the methods that we show in our other videos. What is more common and what we can do is Rust will get into this section here all along this flange and you'll find a, a rusted area all in here. Now, you do find dents in there a lot from the bumper blade getting pushed into that. That should be hammered out. But if you have a rust problem in there or over here on this side, we can make a repair panel for that. This is where the center section comes right down. This edge is right there for the chrome bead. This here is the absolute peak of the mouth so it would be right in there we've given you a little extra you would cut that cut this and kind of fit them in like that keep cutting and filing and then run a bead of weld along there so this actually i want to create some kind of major avalanche this fits right up in there like that and we can do that for both sides and we we can come back you know, this is like a three incher. We can come back four, five, six inches. And this stuff is all priced uh, on a one-off basis based on what you need. So that wraps it up for the three-part series. Again, go back, look at all of them, study it, and learn what we can do to help you save your original bonnet. The way we do it here, we restore the skins of the center section, the wings and the lower balance using the pieces we've shown you in this part three. We replace the main inner uh, main lower balance wall wall here, the support member. 
this piece. We always end up replacing that. We put in all five of those medium panels, which are the uh, headlamp diaphragms, mud shields, and that mouth tray called like the lower air duct panel. And then we replace all the flanges. It is a lot more economical than you think. A new bonnet, as of this filming, is $16,000. For a couple thousand dollars, we can give you all new flanges, all new medium panels, this complete support member, and a few custom pieces, and then you're on your way and you're going to know that you've got an original bonnet that looks right, fits right, and keeps the provenance of the car. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm exhausted from talking all day. I hope this helped you out. Give us a call so we can help you out.